food, food. Same rules of drink of the week. He doesn't know what I've got. No. And I'm sat here and I'm listening, talking, talking to him about listening to him talk about zombie deers. I'm thinking, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. <laughs> because today's snack of the week, or this week's snack of the week, is elk sausages. Oh, brilliant. Oh my god, I am scared now. Yeah. yeah. So if we start going a bit more convulsive than usual, <laughs> uh, yeah, just keep watching. The yeah, yeah, be good actually. Yeah. yeah. Um, these are from Hell on Earth, which is IKEA. <laughs> oh God! Because I got dragged there the other night. Oh. And the only two things I like about IKEA is the food shop and cafe. Anything else pisses me. No, off. no, from the men. Yeah. They're just just there. To, they are there. It's like a male crutch. Is, yeah. I'll leave you in the cafe and have a brew and something interesting. Yeah, it's to get men through it, through the experience. It's the only way of doing it. Later, it's a little secret here. One of the best meals I've ever eaten was in, in the IKEA cafe at Warrington. Was it? And they've never done it before. It was um, a slow cooked beef rib. And you know how big beef ribs are? Yeah, massive. And it was like that. It was like that. <laughs> and it was oh, God, Like it was off the Flintstones. Yeah, it was <laughs> fucking amazing. It was just. Fall apart, it was gorgeous. When I was a kid, I always wanted them. When I had Flintstones over, where he puts the ribs up the side of the yeah, car. Kind of I always remember as a kid, it's probably why I got this. I always remember looking at it and thinking, oh, I wish I could get ribs that big. <laughs> uh, right, the, I'm not fucking. Who the hell did you price that? Fe, fezdl, fez, fez leaked. Fez leaked, yeah, yeah. Bring flavour to the party. Right. Nice. Smoked and dried sausages with elk and pork meat. So they oh. It's not pure elk, they cut them a bit. Save them being 25 quid a packet. Excuse me, these are uh, £1.95 from Ikea. Ikea. Swedish offerings. So they do, if you're not familiar with Ikea, by the way, uh, you, you're lucky. You know, yeah, don't bother. Yeah, I'll not, I'll not ruin your world by telling you all about it. But essentially, they have these. Uh, the food shop at the end of the, uh, the flat pack experience and basically you can buy quite I suppose quite exotic stuff or at least stuff that you wouldn't necessarily get from the UK but you can get in Scandinavia so they're into the the um, meatballs uh, really nice chocolate as well actually and, but also uh, they have uh, offerings like uh, they like like pickled herrings and yeah. fish and stuff like pickled that herring, yeah yeah you should get them in the pub don't we yeah, yeah. yeah when the uh, fish man uh, God rest his soul, he's, he passed away, Phil, didn't Phil, he? Phil, did he? Yeah. I didn't know. Yeah. So, if, I don't know what it's like in your culture over there in terms of in the, in the States or even other areas of the country, but traditionally around where we live, uh, you'd get in the local pub around about half an hour before closing, you'd get the uh, guy coming around with his basket with seafood. Yeah. Prawns, cockles, parched peas. <laughs> yeah, prawns, cockles, parched peas. And now a fish guy that we had when we were younger uh, was called Phil. And he was a bit of a character, weren't he? Yeah, it was great film. Yeah, it was yeah. great. It took a lot of shit as well. I mean, a lot it of is. imagine walking to a pub with a hundred drunken souls, yeah. completely sober, yeah. just trying to sell your stock. And uh, so the amount of shit he got was probably intense. But we always treated him well, didn't we? Oh yeah. Yeah, and uh, yeah, a bit of a character. Um, and yeah, he, 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 he died. What so, a shame. Yeah. No. So yeah, all right, Pete. But there's five in here, and they kind of look like I'm not gonna lie to you, they look like cat shit. They do, don't they? Oh, that's not... Oh, Christ, it smells good. Oh, my Lord. They smell smoky. Smoke. Smoky, yeah. Right? Yes. I've, I've a cat turd. You do look like turd. That's what, like, Joe P's dropped off for his uh, <laughs> exuberant night out. Yeah, he dehydrated wean. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, God, I can see a smell. I could smoke that. Yeah, that's smoky. It's fuck, I'm going to light it. Yeah. They're ready to eat, we don't have to do it with them, so... Yeah, so cheers everybody, we'll buy this. Mm. Nice. I like that. Mm. It's like, um... It's like an upmarket pepper army. <laughs> it's exactly right. Smoking, it's um, not that fatty either. No, yeah, nice. It's got almost like a, a meaty but creamy taste to it. Mm. Yeah, that was quite. 
Substantial as well, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Very dense, very dense meat. Yeah. I mean, anything smoked, dehydrated, whether it's smoked sausage, jerky, my God. Mm. I could eat acres of jerky. Acres of it. I could live off it. I think mean, I could live off it. Love it. Yeah, really nice like them. And um but the other the other drawback is you have to go to IKEA. Yeah. To get them. Um unique Nordic flavours as well, so but uh oh god, they smell fantastic. Is it that cheap IKEA anymore? No it's not. Remember when it first started out over in the main drawer where you could go and get a three piece sofa for like nine quid. But you can't now it's not Dear. Yeah. Some of it, you know, the cheaper Nick's knick knacks. Molded plastic stuff, they're cheap. Yeah. Knick knacks are cheap. Yeah. Yeah. The actual furniture stuff ain't cheap. No, it's not. No. And uh that's a bit of a like like a zombie procession going around there. Oh. And they they even talk about well it's not patronizing, it works, but they actually you know, when they, they, they project the arrows on the ground to, yeah. to tell you which way to go <laughs> as well and um yeah, I mean, some of the stuff's nice, but they do give you that illusion, though, you know, you can turn your house into a, like a Manhattan apartment for £12.40. Yeah, you can't anymore. No. You can't anymore. can't anymore. But, they, you know, women love that shit, though, don't they? They like oh, the, yeah. the fantasy aspect of it. I mean, look at me, you know, people fantasise about me all the time. And um, and, and that that's fine, that's fine, but you're not going to exploit me. That's all I say. Uh, but, no, you, you can't... Uh, you can't get through IKEA without. You should be able to put blinkers on your misses. Oh yeah, man. They'd be yeah. Good, they? yeah. It's not so bad if you go. So say you need. I don't know. Say you need a chest of drawers. Uh huh. If I went to IKEA on my own. That's <laughs> what you're gonna say. I'd get out. I'd yeah. go into IKEA. Yeah. I'd go to the chest of drawers. I'd get the number. I'd go to the fat the flat pack thing. I'd pick it up. I'd pay for it. And I'd fuck off. I'd be, <laughs> out, I'd be out in 10, 15 minutes. No. No, Female species. Oh, look at this. Yeah, oh, yeah. Do, you, do you want it? No. Oh, look at this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you want it? It's built no. for women. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah. It takes you 25 minutes to get through bloody kitchen work thing because you've got to pick every fork up. I mean, I've talked about it before with, with people where, you know, in the, you can see every male counterpart in there. <laughs> it's just agony. <laughs> Pushing trolley like a, like a, like a chain around their, yeah. around their ankles. It's just right. every now and again you'll just meet meet eye to eye yeah. with another fellow suffering and you'll just look at each other and think help <laughs> yeah help me but there's nothing you can say or do to make it go away you've just got to follow the arrows until mm. it ends and it, and it never it seemingly never ending procession I of, think that's why they put the food shop at the end give me something give me something to look forward to yeah I said it's for blokes it's for men yeah for men to get through yeah I spent, I spent more time buying shit in food store than I did actually interested yeah. walking around looking at the furniture. Yeah, it's true that. It's true. It's true. I mean, some of it's nice, but like you say, it's not uh, not for me. The hot dogs are good. You have the hot dogs. Yeah. No, you know, the little ones are fifty p. The big ones are a quid. You get one of them in View or Cine World. It's like you have to mortgage your house. Oh, I don't miss that on cinemas for fuck's sake. Yeah, cinema food. It's, it's, yeah. When's that going to end? I'm surprised they still do it. They've not caught on Dom now because the one near us, uh, the view. At um, a bolt. Yeah. They just let you take in whatever you want. I took my tea in there before <laughs> because I took kids to something and I picked them up straight from work. I can't remember what I watched, but Mrs. didn't want to come. So I said, get in car, we'll and we drove straight there. Stopped at the Asda next door and I got myself a meal deal. Uh-huh. I just walked in with it. Nobody said a dicky no. bird. And I sat there in my leather recliner in my tray and I had my tea. Nobody said shit. No. And the next door to a Poundland. So people walking through with carrier bags of stuff like this, yeah. and they're trying to flog a bag of M&M for nineteen ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> when you think they go, do you know what? We're not selling these because no. everybody's going pound on next door. Let's just sell them at a daft price. And even if they even if they charged a bit more, you'd, you'd accept it, wouldn't you? Yeah. But not that much. It's ridiculous. But you always get somebody coming in, don't you, with El Presidente hot dog, yeah. and a little tub of Ben and Jerry's, yeah. and a big bucket of popcorn. They sit down, and you think, you fucking mug. Yeah. You absolute <laughs> mong. 
Must have maxed his credit card out. More, that. more money than sense. Yeah. I always smash my food in before the trailers. I think it's mm. pissing me off. Yeah, but it's gone. Too. I love nachos. I love. I just love the nachos, and uh, they're gone. Yeah. I've got the eye on Kelly's. The missus when yeah. um, I'm I'm uh, finished mine. I said, Ooh. "This is this is gonna make me feel sound dead old." I don't want shit to be honest with you. But Joe, you know, we used to go cinema all the time when we were kids, didn't we? Yeah. And we always get nachos, didn't we? Yeah. And we bought away our own money, well, more often than not. Yeah. But how much cheaper must they have been then for us to not bat an island and buy them? I don't know. I don't know. Because yeah, even my kids, you know what kids are like, they think it's shit money. When they go to the cinema, they go, oh, them, the nachos they've got. And they see, and it's like 12 quid for a tray of nachos and a drink. Yeah. And they go, oh, I'm not paying that. Even though they're not paying it. Yeah, I don't know, but then again, I, th- I think you're right, don't get me wrong, I-, I think you're right, but then again, I suppose I think to myself, well, when you were a kid, you spent the money you had, and you don't really quantify it as much. Yeah, as, as, yeah uh, if it went, it went, it didn't matter. Yeah, sort yeah. of thing, so if, say, like, even if there were three quid back then, if you had it, you just spent it, yeah, spend you? it. you didn't think that was a rip-off, so to speak, yeah. you know, but there's a, there's a balance, but, but, uh, but no, in cinemas, it's, it's ridiculous, mm. it's ridiculous, it's been a fortune. They'd be 15 quid in cinema. Oh, yeah, we'll do it for the nice one. Yeah, be nice. They were 195 <laughs> Ikea. Now it's time for all, all important scores. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, so, and I'm going, I'll keep going back to the, uh, the, the my last sausages were the Polish ones. Mm. Those crackers, cabanos. Remember that? They were yeah, nice. They were very nice. And they had, had a little more of a fatty, lingering flavour, yeah. didn't they? Uh, they weren't doing that one, did they? <laughs> and, uh, but they are, they are good. No, but so, yeah, really nice. Beer food all the way. Um, I could eat probably five bags of them, to be honest. Um, so for me, with beer in hand and food to eat, I would definitely latch onto them. So for me, good score. I'd probably go, I'm going to go, oh, I round numbers. I round numbers. I'm going to go bang on eight. Quite a strong score. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I, like I want to go a bit higher because I really like them. They're different. Mm-hmm. And they're really, they're a good, Pungent. Do you want to use the word pungent? It's kind of ne- negative, isn't it? It's like, uh, they're a good, strong flavour. You're not left. Yeah. You? Yeah, I get that. Um, yeah. But they're not ready available. You have to go to fucking IKEA yeah, to buy them. Yeah. Uh, nice treat, though. Yeah, they are, they are very nice. Uh, I want to go a bit higher. I want to go 8 4. 8 4. Yeah. Good score. Good score. So, yeah, I think I've said, say, uh, yeah, one of the winners. Yeah. We're all right with stinks, stink. have we? We've not had uh, we've not had any stinkers, have we? We've, we've not had a stinker since the um, chili chocolate episode of episode one. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't watched that, you need to watch that. Yeah, that was a uh, I was scared after that because it set a dangerous level of, of, of precedent. So I was worried then the preceding weeks. I was more scared more than after when I was sat on the porcelain throne <laughs> going, "How's this going to go? How's this going to go?" <laughs> badly. Yeah, <laughs> it went badly. Well, no, they, they, uh, it's been on the up and up since then. So, yeah, lovely, good one. Good stack of the week. So, I think that rounds it up for this week, stack of the week. So, with uh, that done, I think it's time for us to move on to our next segment, which is... <laughs> 